What's the magic of IU? I can boil it down to a few things. I'm Michael Uslin, Indiana University graduate. I am now a professor of practice at the IU Media School, and I'm also the originator and executive producer of the Batman movie franchise. IU has taken journalism, telecommunications, and film and combined them into one media school in a state-of-the-art facility that enables Indiana to plant a flag in the heartland of America. We are offering you great professors, great equipment, great facilities, great opportunities. Once you go beyond the physical borders of the media school, we have the state-of-the-art IU cinema here. And they feature documentaries, foreign films, student films, film festivals, mainstream movies as well. You get across the board a wonderful cinema education. We have the Eskenazi Museum, which most recently had all the costumes donated by Glenn Close. Meryl Streep is a huge supporter of Indiana University and has come back a number of times to speak and share her experiences here. And who would think that you could find this treasure trove here at IU? But you can and you do. And when you spend time in the Midwest, especially coming from the East Coast, you develop that sense of the heartland. And it gives you a tool, it gives you an understanding that the majority of producers in LA and New York do not have. And it makes you better at what you do because it makes you able to choose intellectual properties to make into movies, TV, animation, or whatever that you know will work for the sensibilities of everybody in the middle. Steve Bellamy, one of the heads of Kodak. Sue Nagel, one of the most important producers. Suzanne Collins, who wrote The Hunger Games. One of our graduates does uh, Carpool Karaoke with James Corden. Another one was working on The Jimmy Kimmel Show. It was my liberal arts education that to this very day enables me to do what I do and have that well-rounded education and that thirst for knowledge that intellectual curiosity that's developed and that is nurtured here at the College of Arts and Sciences.